are the National Urban League, community-based civil rights and urban justice, representing nearly 100 years of empowerment. When the promise of opportunity lured blacks north and urban living became a daunting reality, the National Urban League fought for equal access in a racist society. Today, men like Michael J. Cutelli, who recently passed the torch of chairman of the National Urban League, to John D. Hoffmeister are at the helm. Thanks to them, so much is possible. Seven men have held the office of president since our beginnings in 1910. I stand on the shoulders of American legends. President for the past five years, Mark H. Morial, our current visionary, tireless, leading the charge through the contemporary battlefield in urban America. For the Urban League, it's because it's politically hot to touch that we're dealing with. Long-term solutions, I think, are the issue in this upcoming presidential race. Mark Morial is fine-tuning the Urban League's agenda, and people are listening, meeting with leaders, media, and policymakers, reinforcing local Urban League programs that remedy the often dire statistics in the Urban League's State of Black America report and other vital research initiatives. It's really important to me because the Urban League is taking a whole bunch of people who are in a neighborhood where the statistics say that they're going to die before they even finish high school. Empowering young men like 13-year-old Eric Emery, taking him to Achievement Matters summer camps, where he studies finance, business management, and agriculture. This really inspires me to do something bigger and better. If it wasn't for the Greater Washington Urban League, I, Kimberly Ishmael, would be locked up right now. Empowering young women like 22-year-old Kimberly from a family of nine children. As a teen, she was barred from attending any Washington, D.C. public school. I was 17, I ran away from home. I got locked up for a drug talk charge. When my probation officer said I had to get my high school diploma and my GED, I didn't do it because I believed in my heart that I couldn't do it. They, they told me that I wasn't going to get my GED, so when I got into a better environment around people who had was believing in me when I wasn't believing in myself. It made me hold my head up when I was holding my head down. I graduated June 25th, 2008 from the Greater Washington Urban League GED School and I feel great. And it made me feel good. <laughs> Empowering people to own their homes. The Urban League definitely made a dream come true for me and my family. We've wanted something for quite some time. I've wanted something since I was a kid. Single mom Zerlene Hughes avoided the subprime lending mess, got a $70,000 down payment and closing cost on her new home through the League's comprehensive housing program. Because of the Urban League, I have a home and I have that dream. Empowering people with health and quality of life. I was under a lot of stress because we were paid at least a 400 to 450 a month for prescriptions. 59-year-old Eloise Hinton lives and cares for her 85-year-old mom, Ruth with health problems of her own, Eloise says the Urban League got their prescription costs cut and a caretaker to ease the load. I just uh, I appreciate the Urban League because uh, just to give you uh, some, some hope, to give you some hope. For Kimberly, now working at the Greater Washington, D.C. Urban League, hope is something she's never had. I see you buying a house. I see so much. It's empowerment time. It's empowerment time. It's empowerment time. It is time to get, grow, go. Get what you want, grow your resources, and go wherever you want. Time for inner city kids to make the impossible possible. See, meaning is empowerment. June 1st, 2004, Gary, Indiana. Dr. Eloise Gentry, CEO of the Northwest Indiana Urban League, gathers together over 5,000 second through sixth graders to break the Guinness World Book record as they simultaneously read aloud the eagles who thought they were chickens. We will be recording it. Guinness World Book of Records. We are a nonpartisan organization redefining civil rights in America and around the world, locally producing radio shows. I'm your host, Roland Turner, and this morning we've got a very exciting show. Circulating information via print and the internet to encourage, educate, and set current policy issues. And nationally, via Mark Marial's To Be Equal column and the Urban Influence and Opportunity Journal. 2008, we have traveled along unprecedented roads in America with the first ever African-American presumptive presidential nominee. 
With directives for action from Morial, the road ahead is clear as we take a global view and nurture our youth from the cradle to college, recession-proof our jobs, and revitalize and sustain our neighborhoods. As we offer children the opportunity to thrive, give people the chance to earn jobs, to own homes, and to prosper regardless of obstacles. It's empowerment time, it's empowerment time, it's empowerment time in America. We are the National Urban League, empowering communities, changing lives. For more information about the Urban League, please contact your local affiliate or visit us on the web at www.nul.org.